Which one clipped it? Oh my God, do I got go, a, dude. I got something for both of you. you that's not, that didn't come out right, but it, it doesn't matter because uh, it's going to be awesome. What up, Posse? How's it going? This is Brandon. And I'm Mark. Fine, you're Mark. I'm just this guy, Chad, that used to introduce you. You're bringing gifts. What so, Chad, this is his way of telling you you're fired. So, Is that what it is? Yep. Uh, that pink slip under your chair is not a winning ticket. <laughs> finally, finally. Well, before I quit, <clears throat> you can't fire me. <laughs> you can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> I have the sickest dead technology with stories. You ready for this? Yes. All right, let's hear it. Nobody knows what this is, okay? It's a CD. It's a CD. <laughs> it's okay? a CD. But this is the very rare and very hard to find Vanilla Ice rock album called Hard uh, to Swallow. When he did the rock version of Ice Ice Baby, yes, I remember he did. that. Yes, I was like, did. why did he do that? And you can see that that was a promo uh, that I was <clears throat> given to me. And the interesting thing about this Hard to Swallow album is, yeah, they, they, it, it's actually a decent album. It's not bad. And the guy that was the producer for uh, Korn, was the guy that that did oh, this? Wow. So this came out like early two thousands, uh, late nineties, early two thousands, early two thousands okay. for sure. But the the crazy thing about this this album and it being Vanilla Ice and it actually is a decent album is that this was recorded in Minneapolis. Oh, cool! In a, in a, in a, and this was when he started going by his actual name, right? Uh, like whatever Van no, Winkle or whatever. No, this is, is Vanilla Rob Ice. Van Winkle? No, okay. this is Vanilla Ice. I find that hard to swallow. Get out of here, sir. <laughs> no, it's like Rob Van Winkle or something. <laughs> we'll, we'll bring the cat in to drag you <laughs> out, sir. All right. Where do you want to go, Mark? Let's go more dead Oh, technology. you're Mark now. Oh, I'm Mark. Well, oh, no, he didn't. Chad didn't introduce Mark, so anybody can be Mark now. True. Uh, We're all Mark. We're all. Can't we all just Mark? These are sweet. I so remember these. Do you remember these? Do you yeah. remember when they were from? I don't know. This was, I think, either during the uh, prequels or right before the prequels, hyping them up, like when they started doing the remastered movies and like the new Power of the Force toys and stuff. Okay. Because but I believe that I believe it's like probably ninety eight between ninety or ninety seven and two thousand one, probably or two thousand three. Well, these were a gift from my next door neighbor and his buddy. Shout out to uh, da- uh, out Jason to Dove and his brother. And uh, yeah, they were a gift from him, and I was like, "Oh wait!" Oh, those... And this one's a newer one because it, it has the Lucas, the Disney Lucas Oop. film on it. Oop, look at that! I just oh, messed up the camera. Look at that. Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm just messing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, thank you. Uh, shout out to Jason. Great gift. And he's a cool dude. Good he's guy. a great guy. And just another shout out. Jason is the videographer for all of the Phil Swift memes. For Flex Seal, he's that cool of a dude. So, and he's actually done Rick Ross videos. And stuff oh, nice! Too. Yeah, yeah, that's um, awesome. Your can turn. I, All I, right, these are now mine. you can be Mark. Can yeah. I eat that? No, I can't eat that soup. You can eat the can. It's probably easier to swallow than this CD. Ooh, that would be hard to swallow. <laughs> All right, stop bringing it full circle, sir. All right, I got these finally from Super Seven through Ringside Collectibles. We got these. Yeah, whatever. The this one is the Brian Myers uh, Super Seven Ultimate from the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Uh, so if you open, just pull pull the bottom out, the top it comes apart. Here, let me take it. What? I'm a- I remember when I opened my first I know, right? toy. I remember when I opened- <laughs> whatever. I didn't want to damage the box. <laughs> I know. I For get the it. first time, but- you care about that. I, it's right. It's not mine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. So yeah, it comes with four heads, uh, his entrance gear, a mini miniature figure, so he can hold it like he's talking about it for the the podcast. This is like the ultimate uh, wrestling action figure, and it scales with the elites, the AWs. It's awesome. Would you pay for it? Uh, I think they were like forty four shipped each. And I got two sets of the the Matt Cardona and the Brian Myers one, so I can get one signed and one displayed. Um, but these are so – Super 7's just been knocking out of the park, even though it took, like, a whole year for them to get here. But <clears throat> that was shipping issues. Leave it to Mark to try but and come yeah, back he, and make it look yeah, cool. Right? Now he's, try, he's trying to uh, redeem himself. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, but, 
Yeah, exactly. This one he had like for Matt Cardona, he has the cash, like the Broski bucks that he because he's the thousand dollar Broski. He's paid like over what was it like twelve thousand dollars for a um, a unreleased Hasbro um, Kamala figure. Hmm. Had a different paint on his belly, and he sold a <laughs> LJN figure prototype for forty five thousand dollars. Wow. He's like these, like he's in the prototype game. He he knows what's kind of like coming in the wrestling figure world of like what's going to become popular, what's not. Okay. What these got? are the uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson from. Uh, they were in New Japan. They're in Impact Wrestling. They were in WWE for a little bit. Um, you you might remember Luke uh, Doc Gallows as um, Festus from Jesse and Festus from like 2007, 2008. But this one is Carl Anderson, the Machine Gun. Um, they have their own podcast, talking shop. They have their own beer, which is the beer can that they have in there. Oh, fun! Yeah, this one doesn't have a little action figure with them. No, these ones just have the the uh, the beer can and then the extra hands and the heads. Yep, the two sweet hands. I love, gotta love them. Yo, R.I.P. Scott Hall, man, the bad yeah, guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, that I, I, that was very sad to hear today that Scott Hall yeah. passed. And it away. was because it was from complications from the surgery. He fell off a ladder doing something at his house, broke his hip. Uh, he had the surgery, and then there's a blood clot that caused oh. three heart attacks, and it was just... Oh, it's just devastating. Know. That's just so sad. Let's be honest, though. That guy has probably lived... He cheated death. Three lights. Yeah, <laughs> he's cheated death many times. Good point. Um, this one is the Doc Gallows one, but um, I just... These guys are just hilarious. They can do awesome impressions. They're just... They're kind of the kind of guys you want to get a beer with, so you got to get these guys for the uh, for the figure collection. And these would kind of be considered uh, underground, right? Uh, these I mean, guys are these guys kind made of, them I guess. themselves, right? Well, no. Um, uh, Cardona and Myers did, and then they got because they're friends with Gallows and Anderson. They got them to deal with Super Seven because they were like they started making their own figures with Ringside Collectibles, which is a, a, a online shop where you get all the wrestling figures early. You can pre-order them. You pay a little extra, but you get them before waiting to get them in the stores. Um. But they did a deal with them to make these like Remco type figures, and then Super Seven, like they we, they started getting enough traction that they were able to make a deal with Super Seven to make their figures. They're going to have another wave coming out of them in different gear. Uh, it's just this is cool because it's showing that you don't need the WWE machine behind you to make it in wrestling anymore. Do you think how many do you think of each of these are probably released? Like ten thousand. Probably because it, it was a pre it was a pre order so they wouldn't make them until they closed yeah, the pre orders, yeah. uh, so probably yeah probably ten to fifteen thousand because the uh, big bad toy store uh, all those uh, wholesale places ordered a bunch just to be able to sell them. Okay, so I feel like it once it gets over twenty thousand, you're kind of losing the collectible collectability of it, or yeah. it's just like yeah. okay now there's twenty thousand of, of these. I agree with you on that one. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's, if it's 10,000 or 5,000, my goodness, you know, that's like a pretty limited number if it's like a popular thing. Or just yeah. numbered in general has always been up in the value. Doesn't exactly. even matter. Well, except Funkos, because if they're anything above 5,000, they it's like a car. You, as soon as you buy it and it's not a chase, it yeah. goes down to yeah. value. Well, in those ones that are numbered, they're like, quote unquote. I'm but. screwed either way because I have so many of them. Mark, when is mm-hmm. our next? So, uh, event soiree. I was gonna say soiree. Yeah. Oh, the toy soiree. soiree. That's yeah, a new yeah, one. Yeah, March Madness, March twenty seventh, nine a.m. to three p.m. Free admission, seventy five tables of family friendly fun entertainment. Are we sold out? Well, it's free, but yeah, the tables are claimed. They are all claimed, so we are all sold claimed. out. We're sold out. <sighs> How many that. people were there? Do you think the last time in the first two hours? I'm going to say at least. I'm, I counted uh, at one point. I counted, and your job is to count. Ca- well, yeah, yeah, I can count to five and back job. to one. Yeah, yeah. Last I week counted, it was ten. I, yeah, well, <laughs> we're I'm, regressing I'm here. Getting Hold dumber on. and dumber as I go. <laughs> well, you're so. hanging out with me. What do you expect? Yeah, <laughs> no, I counted. I counted uh, three fifty at about ten fifteen, and then I counted six, and then I counted like almost eight hundred. And then it was people coming in and out. And then on top of it, I walked outside because it was so nice I had to get a fresh air. And there was 50 people sitting outside. So, it was, mm-hmm. Were they selling hot dogs out there? I wish. Oh, my God. Okay. I would have wanted a cheat meal so bad. Right? So, 
Sonic stuff. There. Brandon, where can we be found? We can be found on the interwebs, uh, on YouTube, uh, the Toy Posse, uh, on Instagram at the Real Toy Posse underscore and MN Toy Posse, on Twitter at Toy Posse, and on Facebook, uh, the Toy Posse and MN Toy Posse. Awesome! All right, hopefully we will see uh, people at the next uh, event. Event the soiree. Events. Events. We're soiree. Yeah, it would be nice see to see you every once in a while. Right? Yeah, fly over from England, please. Yeah. Anybody want any soup? <laughs> <laughs>